today I want to talk about an expression that we use here in North America that is completely absurd. So I was in downtown Toronto, where I am right now, where I live, and I overheard this mother say to her daughter, don't worry, we can always get more. And I've heard this expression many, many times in my life, but it didn't really sink in until right now. Have you ever been in a grocery store and just taken a second just to stop and just think about how ridiculous the idea of a grocery store actually is? One second. Hey Siri, how long have grocery stores been a thing? Okay, so from a quick Google search, nothing crazy reliable. We're talking about the early 1900s, so about 100 years ago. That's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you're watching this, chances are that the idea of grocery stores is something very normal to you. Now, if I was to explain what a grocery store is to someone who had never heard of one before, it would probably be something like this. It's a big, big box full of food that you can go to, oh, almost tilted over because of the wind, that you can go to almost at any time you want. It's windy out here today. And the times that you can't get food there, there's smaller grocery stores, convenience stores, open 24 seven. This shit's crazy and we're just so used to it. Now, in no way am I saying that this is a bad thing. I'm just trying to point something out here. And what I'm trying to point out is how incredible our lives are, how, they, how incredible they've become and how good we actually have it. Remember that not that long ago, people had to scavenge and hunt for their food. Hell, some people still do that to this day. The fact that these basic necessities are so readily available to us lets us go after something meaningful in our lives, like what I'm doing right now. It opens up the doors for us to make our mark in this world or do something we're passionate about. What it really does at the end of the day is it gives us time. It gives us time to focus on what we want to do or leave here. The expression, don't worry, we can always get more, is ludicrous. Now for the last 15 to almost 20 years, I've lived in the Kitchener-Waterloo area, just outside of Kitchener-Waterloo in the country, surrounded by farms and horse and buggies and Mennonites. But I would consider my family to be a normal family, I guess, it, in, in the sense that we use grocery stores. I, I don't know. Come to think of it, my family isn't really that normal. It's not like we were farming or anything like that, but well, I guess we did have vegetable gardens like most of my life and still buy from farmer's markets whenever possible. <laughs> this isn't helping me at all. What I'm trying to say is that from growing up in that type of environment, I'm more, I guess I'm more aware of the abundance we have in North America. Feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know where in the world do you live and what is it like there and are modern grocery stores a thing that's normal to you? I'd love to hear from you, it'd be really cool. Hold on a second, I gotta take my bag off for this one. Okay, there are phone numbers that you can call and people will deliver you hot, some, sometimes warm, food to your door. You don't need to do anything but pick up the phone and one of life's greatest needs can be fulfilled. So you're probably wondering, what's the point to all this? Well, there isn't really a point and it's just kind of like, there isn't really a point for me to be chilling in this bunch of trees right here. I'm just spewing out my thought process every time you set up, it's quiet. Second you start talking, noise. Look at this, I got whatever's going on over here. I've got this guy over here. I've got this dump truck over here. Screw this, I'm moving. Is that better? I think it's a little bit better. So I'm just spewing off my thought process after overhearing a mother tell her daughter, don't worry, we can always get more. Here's the takeaway for you. Appreciate what you have and appreciate what you have access to. Next time you go into the big, big box full of food, maybe just take a second look and just, and just really take in how absurd and amazing it really is. Oh, you know, and do the things down there and follow along for more and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, also, this is awesome. 
I haven't done this in a very long time, and I'm really feeling the inner skater in me coming out. <laughs> I hope you enjoy.